part of my education at Cornell, I did my MFA at Cornell, I omitted that, was learning that writing was hard work. It was supposed to be obvious, but I guess I wasn't um, thinking that way because during my undergrad years, I wrote for fun, I wrote for pleasure, I wrote because I loved language. But fast forward to grad school, I had to learn craft, which was kind of challenging to do because the way my father and my grandmother told stories made it sound like it was effortless. Um, I would listen to them and I wouldn't think deeply about things like character. I knew character was important. I wouldn't think about voice and how you put it together. So those were the things I had to learn. I had to learn discipline. I remember one of my mentors, Elena Maria Viramontes, asking me if I had a writing routine. It was my first semester in college. And obviously throughout my undergrad education, I only wrote when things were assigned to me and when I wanted to. So we were talking about my process and I said, I, I, I just write when I, you know, either when it comes to me or when I have to. And she said, no, you cannot work like that. You need a, you need a routine. So I quickly created one. I found myself waking up every day at 5.30 um, in the morning and writing. It was made easier because I was living in Ithaca, New York, and there was nothing to do. So <laughs> I went to bed quite early. 9, 9.30, I was in bed, and 5.30, I was up naturally without the aid of an alarm. But being in that space also meant being surrounded by a community of people who were not only there to ride, but who were also there to care about other people's writing. Um, and I found myself investing in their own writing as well.